Hello guys! So for today's video, I'll share na namin sa inyo yung tour package namin sa Vegan. And of course, yung day one na din namin na itinerary. So here's a previous video. Subscribe na din kayo please and support our channel para umabot kami sa 1,000 subscribers. It's a milestone already and thank you pala sa 500 plus subscribers. And here's a previous video. And uh, this was taken in Olivia's transient house. Pwede yung panoorin. Nalagay ko yung link sa description box ng previous video namin para makita nyo yung humurang transient house na malapit sa Pasay, sa Mall of Asia, PICC, and sa airport. So here's a preview ng Frankie's. Yes, nagpa-Frankie's ako kasi hindi pa na-try ni Vincent. <laughs> And we visited Mall of Asia for the cafe Mary Grace. It was worth every penny. So so brang nasalapan kami. And here's our looks, of course. Kung pa ba? <laughs> so ito na nga. Here's our day one in our Ilocos tour in vegan. So. We arrived around 5.30 a.m. So as you can see sa screenshot, um, it's a Lakpai Norte Travel and Tours. Diyan kami nagbook ng package. You can message them on Facebook for more details and information para makapag-quote na din kayo. So our first stop is the Hidden Garden. Dito na kami nag-breakfast. And since hindi pa kami nakapag-check-in sa hotel, sa accommodation, so yung breakfast na to is hindi pa siya kasama sa package. So kami pa mismo yung uh, nagbuy it for the breakfast itself. Actually, I've been here before, um, eight years ago. It was 2015, so ang daming na bago na sa place, environment, daming renovation, and it was a good thing at this time. And with I'm with Vincent already, para makita naman niya kung gano din kaganda yung locos, yung vegan, yung pagod pud. So yeah. So, yung breakfast pala nila is parang ano siya, naka-buffet na siya. So, when you try to order yung mga food sa loob na ng buffet, so parang pipila ka lang dun and so serve na nila agad. Pero, uh, of course, mainit yung food. So, food, uh, it was worth 180 pesos each. Tapos, may pamilo na siya. Or you can choose coffee if you want to. May free water na din. So they also have a coffee corner, super daming plants. Talaga ng hidden garden siya kasi need mo pumasok sa mga entrance entrance nila para makita yung view ng place. Tapos nagbebenta din sila ng mga plants. As you can see, so since andito naman na kami and mas natapos, una kami natapos sa mga kasama namin, so nag-tour lang kami ni Vincent. They also have a celebrity and guest corner. Super daming na pala artists na nakapunta dito. And there's souvenir shop corner na din. Here's our second stop. It's the Princess Hannah souvenir shop. So they consider this as the vegan um, souvenir shop. So sabi ni Kuya, bababa daw muna kami dito para makapagbili ng OOTD. So of course, di ako magpapatalo. Bumili ako ng hat. So ayun na nga, nung eto itong nasa video, ito yung binili kong hat. And it was worth 250 pesos. And I think it was okay because the quality was good and nagamit ko siya for the whole trip. Yung mga t-shirts, 90 pesos for kids and 100, 120 pesos for adults. And di kasi kami sanay sa mga t-shirt souvenir so ayun, di na lang ako bumili. And our third stop is the Balwarte. Super dami, dami animals dito. Ang haba nga ng pila kahit ang aga-aga pa. So, we had to line up and wait for our turn, of course. And, yung nabayaran ko palang entrance fee here 
is 50 pesos for the entrance fee and 100 pesos for the shuttle. So, ito yung first stop. Pwede mong pakainin yung mga animals for free. Bibigyan ka lang nila kuya ng mga damo. And, ayun na. You can take videos and pictures of it. Make sure hindi ka lang takot. Here's the shuttle. So, ayun na nga sinulat ko yung fare. 50 for the fee and 100 for the shuttle. Actually, pwedeng pwede siyang lakarin. Kaso, yun na nga, super init this time nung pumunta kami. So, parang hindi na namin kaya maglakad. And, may 3 stops kasi siya. Parang mas hulot na rin namin kasi binigyan kami ng 1 hour lang para mag-tour dito sa Baluarte. So, that was the first stop earlier. Yung pwedeng magpakain ng mga animals. And the second stop is here in the Safari Gallery. And beside it, may white lion. Actually, first time namin makakita ng white lion na pwedeng pwede mong lapitan. And you can take pictures of it. Kaso yun na nga, may bayad na 200 to 250 pesos. Kalimutan ko exactly. Basta ganun yung range. So, hindi na kami picture And we just took videos for the vlog. And super laki niya. Hindi siya nag-roar, pero <laughs> nakakatakot pag super lapit mo na. So I took pictures, photogenic niya. It was very tiny. And pumasok kami sa safari gallery. Since sinabi ko kay Vincent, kahit hindi naman mga trip yung mga ganito, andito na naman na kami. So might as well na check na lang namin yung buong place. So ang daming animals. May mga elephants pa na malalaki. Parang kinoconserve nila yung mga skins. Kasi may isa din doon na parang crocodile skin. Carabao? Not sure. It's a lion. It's an elephant. <laughs> Ayan na yung sinabi kong crocodile skin. Parang polar bear yung bears. Mga reindeers din. Deers. We didn't took any selfies na din. I just took video, I mean videos and pictures just for the vlog. And makita niyo din dito ang pinamaka, pinakamagandang animal sa safari, safari gallery. So ayun, eto na nga sila. Lol. So anyway, so that's the safari gallery outside, how it looks like. So that was the second stop and the third stop is Ano parang tour lang sa place and yung reptiles. That's that was the third stop. So parang di naman kami na fine ng mga ganun. So um ayun na nga mabilisan lang namin with the video just for the vlog. And yung mga, yung reptile shop din kasi may bilihan ng soft drinks at halo-halo kaya nag-stop talaga kami para nag-refresh. And medyo na pressure din kasi kami dito kasi Tapos na yung mga kasama namin na joiner dun sa tour package. So medyo binilisan na din namin yung pag-take ng pictures. Pero yun naman na lahat. Since naka-shuttle kami, so parang nasulit na din namin ano yung loob ng baluarte. So next, our four, fourth stop is the Apple Caridad Bell Tower. And beside the uh, Bantay Bell Tower, my church siya. And then, tawag nila itong Bantay Church. Uh, backstory lang dati, nakakakit pa ako sa Bell Tower kasi nga lumindol last year. So, ngayon parang di na nila pinapapasok sa loob. I, I remember it kasi medyo spiral pa yung staircase. Kaya naalala ko lang. This is how it looks like. And this is how it looks like for the Pantai Church. And next is the museum. This is the fifth stop. Actually, hindi siya kasama sa day one package. Itinerary namin. Kasi chinecheck ko yung ano eh, listahan. Pwes parang dinaanan lang din namin. So it was a good thing na may initiative yung driver namin sa mga ganitong bagay. Tsaka wala pala tong entrance fee guys. Parang donation lang. And again, this is the museum nila Juan Luna and Antonio Luna. And sa labas may pa-ice cream. 
avocado and uh, mango. And I think it's makapuno yung isa. It was uh, 30 pesos yung isang cone. Super sarap. Kasi parang init-init. Tapos need natin na refreshments, di ba? So, gusto nga ni Vincent sana mag-share kami. Kaso, gustong-gusto ko talaga ng sweets. <laughs> Sabi ko, kanya-kanya na lang muna kami. And our sixth stop is lunchtime na. So, this was in Pauai. Outside ng rest of my Pauai church. Correct me if, I, if I'm wrong sa pag-pronounce, ha? Or, ito na nga, how it looks like. Subscribe kayo, guys, ha? Para umabot kami ng 1,000 subscribers. Please, please, please support our channel. Una, dapat mag-take pictures pa kami. Tapos, nabanggit ni Kuya Diver na dapat daw um, kumain muna kami pa. Kasi, nauna kami sa mga nagtutour package, eh. So, para hindi kami maubusan ng seats sa resto. So, ito yung point of view namin na take pictures kami. Nakataypad lang kasi kami. Eh, tapos nahiya din kami mag sabi sa kanila ng mga ibang tao na sa gilad-gilad na magpapapicture. So, okay lang for the vlog at least. May videos naman kami on how the place looks like. So, nilapitan namin yung church. Super ganda kasi kahit old na siya, ancient na siya, buo pa din yung loob. May mga cracks, pero may mga tao pa din sa loob sa prayer room. So, disclaimer lang. Disclaimer lang. Hindi ako sure kung prayer room yun. Basta may mga taong pumapasok sa loob. Tsaka, hindi na, ka, hindi na kami pumasok kasi gustong gusto ko nang itry yung halo-halo ng Ilocos Coolers. Nabanggit ko nga na nakabisit na ako dito dati and gusto kong mag-take picture kung ga paano ko picture yung coolers ko dati noong 2015. Parang mag-throwback alang ako before and after. So, ayun. Bumali ako ng halo-halo this time. So, our seventh stop is eto na yung sand dunes. 4 by 4 right? Um, gagawa ko ng um, separate vlog for the sand dunes experience. And our last stop is the Malacanang of the North. Ito na yung around, I think, 4.30pm na dito. Na ma Mapifeel mo talaga na sobrang pagod na ng mga tao. Tapos amoy init na. Yung ganun, yung parang malagkit na masyado. <laughs> Kasi nga, galing na kami sa sand dunes nito eh. Mamasok kami sa Malacanang and if I'm not mistaken, dati wala pa siyang entrance. Pero ngayon, 10 pesos ata yung entrance. Nans, ikot-ikot lang kami sa place. Wala na mas masyadong ano, uh, mga old furnitures lang na dito sa Malacan yung North. So, explain ko lang kung bakit kagawa ko ng video dun sa Sand Dunes 4x4. So, separate ko siya. Kasi medyo madami kami yung videos dun. Kasama na yung mga sandboarding. And magkano yung binayana namin for the 4x4 experience, right? And I think so far sa aming Ilocos trip, isa yun, or yun talaga yung parang bida sa tour package na ito. So, worth it yung binayaran namin para makasakay doon and para ma-experience din yung sandboarding. So, yeah, here's how it looks like. Yung Malacanang North. Pinaikot ko lang si Vincent kasi, di ba, nakita ko na to siya. And medyo lang ako masabing changes so far. Preserve nila talaga lahat. And yay! May pa-ice crumble! Sa labas ito ng nor uh, Malacanang North. Super sarap. It was 25 pesos. Nakalimutan ko exact price. Pero, grabe kasi super init. And yes, dinner time na sa El Comedor. Nirecommend to ni Kuya Jiver. Uh, backstory, so after the Palacanang North, Natulog kami kasi nag-check in na kami dun sa free accommodation. And gumising kami ng 9pm so it was a very late dinner already. Pero may mga food pa naman. Tsaka may pakanta-kanta pa sila dito sa um, resto nila. So worth it yung food. Super laki ng ribs na sinabi nila 2 to 3 packs. Pero parang pang 4 to 5. May pa C6 sila. And we have the chow fan rice. And that's my avocado halo-halo. Medyo hindi ko bet yung halo-halo kasi powdered avocado lang. 
So, ito na nga yung binayaran namin. Screenshot nyo na lang para makita nyo. SML San Big Light yan. <laughs> so, of course, kay Vincent. So, for still worth it naman. And lalo na yung ribs. 250 lang. Super laki na. And yes, check our Sun Dunes experience in our next vlog. <laughs> so, ito yung video ni Vincent. <laughs> Yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Click and subscribe for more videos. Bye!